Hey, what is up everybody? This is Mark and today I'm going to talk you through this condiment picnic table project. It's really easy to make. I spent a lot of time trying to simplify everything for you, so I think you're really going to love it. It takes just over a sheet, about a sheet and a third or less of material, and you need to use quarter inch material. And if you have material that's between 0.2 and 0.25, you're going to be in good shape here. If it's thinner than that, you're going to have to do a little bit of editing of slots, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. I think you're really going to love this, so let's walk through the file, and I'll give you some tips and tricks along the way. All right, like we always do, let's start by first reading the text that I have in here just to make sure you get all the important details here. Black and green lines mean cut. We'll talk about the green in just a moment. Red equals score. Do not cut the red lines. Score those. If you cut them, you're going to be doing it all over again. So score the red lines. Now, these green, these green rectangles, I'll zoom in on them in just a minute, are 0.244 wide. All right, so let me zoom in on those and we'll talk about those. These are right here and there's several of them throughout the design. And if your material is smaller than uh, 0.25, between 0.20 and 0.25, you're going to be fine. Uh, mine is... Uh, basically right at 0.25 and these fit really nicely uh, with a little bit of kerf adjustment there. And if your material is a little bit thinner than mine, you're not going to have to adjust anything. Just put a little bit of glue there. It'll be just fine. If you decide to use something thinner than 0.20, uh, you're going to have to edit these. And I, I really recommend that you don't do something thinner. Go ahead and use something around quarter inch. You'll be better off. If you need to adjust these, that's why they're green. I want to call your attention to them. You want to adjust the width here, left to right, don't adjust top to bottom, just left to right if you need to adjust them, okay? So that's the first thing I want to tell you. And then watch this video. Of course, you're watching this video, but always watch every video that I have with these designs because they really help you a lot, all right? Make sure you do that before you get started. So let's walk through this a little bit. So this large piece right here is the top uh, piece that has the three circles in it. And Two of the three circles are larger than the middle one. I did that so that if you had like a ketchup or a mustard that could stand on its lid or stand on the bottom, it's likely that they're going to be able to fit. And let's take a look at the size of those real quick. Uh, these are 3.4 inches in diameter. 3.4 inches in diameter. So if you've got something specific you want to fit in there, just make sure that you measure it first. You can adjust these circles. However, if you make them any larger than they currently are, they're going to expose some of the supports underneath. So I suggest you don't do that. If you want to make them smaller, you can, but I wouldn't make them any bigger. Otherwise, there'll be some uh, support issues. All right. So those are 3.4. And then this uh, you're going to score these red lines. This is the top. OK. And then these are the two supports, which you saw in the pictures. I'll show those to you again here in just a moment. And these tabs, let me line them up here right here. Or, I'm sorry, these right here. These tabs right here go up through the top and the other one goes down at the other end. And then these support pieces right here go right across in these slots right here. And it goes across to the other one right there. And that's what keeps it uh, stable from uh, left to right. And then you're going to take these rectangles here. There's one that's bigger than the others. This one right here. This one is going to slide right in this slot right here between these two. So I know I'm going to lay these on top here, but I'll also show you in the picture. They're going to slide right through this gap right here and through the other one on the other side when it's down there. And I have score lines on here right there to kind of help you know where to line this up. So that score line is going to go right outside this uh, line right here. So that does help you line it up uh, nicely. Put some glue right here inside the red line. Put some glue right here inside the red line. And then it's going to nicely glue right inside uh, this shape right here to help that stay more stable. I'm going to undo a little bit. Move some of these back out of the way. All right. And then the last pieces that you have are you have the benches. And the benches simply go left to right. And these green rectangles go right on this knob right here, this tab. On both sides, they should fit really nicely. And then 
uh, left and right sides. And then the last piece that you have, you have two of these. And these rectangles just simply slide right into here on the left and the right. Let me show you on the camera. So check this out. If you've got this piece right here, you've got these long rectangles and they just simply go right in like that. And there's also a score line to help you line it up a little bit. But just simply put some glue right there, slide that right in there. Same thing on the other end. And uh, those go underneath the, uh, the benches. I'll show you the benches here. Again, the benches go right there. And then this piece is going to go right underneath it. And that will give you a place for the salt and pepper and that kind of thing to sit down in there and not fall all the way through. So that's how this goes together. It's super easy. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to see how you guys make these. But have fun with them. If you need to adjust the circles again, you're welcome to. Just be careful. If you make them much bigger, you're going to make it a little bit in, unstable. Uh, so just kind of watch out for that. But let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to see what you guys make.